Hey everybody, here's another water comparison video. Tonight I'm going to taste test all 11 of these waters, and I'm going to decide which one I personally think tastes the best. I have this huge water comparison chart that I've been working on for years, and whichever one tastes the best is going to move on to round two. This is a round one video for the chart. Normally in round one, I only compare two waters, but tonight I'm doing 11 because my water comparison chart is coming to an end. I've been saying this for a while, but there's only 11 videos left, and I kind of want those last 11 videos to be, I don't know, kind of good, and I want all the waters to have a chance. And I feel like these waters here, all 11 of these, don't really have a chance of winning the whole chart. And since I only have 11 left, I don't want to waste them on these waters. I just want to get rid of all these waters in one video. Because these waters here, like, most of them have calories. This one is, like, sparkling. This one is coconut. Like, they're all weird. Like, I think these two don't even call themselves water. They really shouldn't even be in the chart at all. Like, I, I should have looked at the label more carefully before I bought these. They don't even say their waters on them. They were just in the water aisle. So, like I said, I don't think any of these really have a chance of winning the whole chart. So I'm just doing them all now just to get them done with. And this is a lot of water to drink to compare. Okay, first up, we have Trimino. This is coconut pineapple flavored water. This is 28 calories. And this is supposed to be high in protein. It's supposed to have seven grams of protein. I bought this a while ago. I, I For all these waters, like, I forgot where I got most of these. And I forgot how much I paid for them. This one I must have gotten a long time ago. Because the best buy date on it is July 2018, which is over a year ago. That's the best buy date. So I must have gotten it even before that. But uh, here you go. It's high in protein. So I guess it's good for, like, athletes and whatnot. And, um... Here we go. Hopefully it doesn't like make me sick because it's so far past the best buy date. It smells like coconut. Um, looks a little foggy inside. They didn't use a clear label because it looks kind of dirty in there, but here we go. Tastes pretty sugary, pretty sweet. Like a standard um, coconut water. I think for the most part, coconut waters seem to taste the same. I think that harmless harvest water that I tasted in California, that was kind of like the only exception of a coconut water that tasted different and unique. Generally, just coconut waters taste very similar to me. And I think, in general, they're uh, better tasting when they're served chilled. I think the label might even say that on there. Okay, next up is Wanu. <laughs> I might be pronouncing that wrong, too. This is uh, kiwi cucumber water, and it's sweetened with monk fruit. And it's uh, deionized water. And this is also 20 calories in this. It's two servings. They're each 10 calories. That's not going to win the chart. That's not going to win the thing overall. Like, I have a bias against waters that have calories. I have a bias against sparkling waters and flavored waters and all this other stuff. So, so it's not going to win. But here we go. Let's just do it anyway. It smells like orange, actually. It's kind of weird. The smell is actually like stronger than the taste. When it first hits the tongue, it's kind of like a cucumber, mild taste. And it's like a little stronger, like a sort of like a candy cane taste in the back of the throat. It's not, I mean, it's not bad. Next up is trio water. This is birch water from a tree. This is 20 calories in the bottle. It's 10... 10 calories per serving, and that's two servings. Uh, this is water tapped from a real tree that has naturally occurring electrolytes and minerals. And uh, they also add fruit juice, fruit <laughs> juice to it. And this is peach mango flavored. Oh. <laughs> smells like a peach that went bad, sort of. Or maybe like a mix with a kiwi or something. Ugh. It tastes like, um, almost like pineapple juice. Like, this is like, I don't, I, this one is my least favorite out of the three. This is too strong. This is like way too strong of a taste. Look how dark it is. I don't know if you can even see that, but does that look like water to you? So, to me, that does not look like water. So why is this on John Drink's water? Yeah, it tastes like, like strong, strong pineapple juice. Like you get a can of pineapples and you drink the juice after. Sometimes I do that. I'm, I'm weird like that. Ugh, that's 
I'm going to go ahead and just eliminate this now. Because it's already the worst out of the ones I've tasted. Next up is, I think this is called Q Tonic Water. I think that's what it's called. This is 35 calories per serving, 4 servings per container. How do I even open this thing? <clears throat> it's in a nice, nice bottle, nice container. I believe this is from Giant Eagle, the grocery store, and I believe this was about $5 for this bottle. But I don't think it has any chance of winning. Tonic waters are always taste super bad. They got it like Queen Eye or whatever it's pronounced. That's probably why it has that name. And um, it says it uses real ingredients. It's less sweet, carefully crafted, and contains real Q Nine or whatever that's called. It says after a year in my Brooklyn backyard with great friends, good gin, and lousy tonic water, I spent years making a spectacular tonic water. It's pretty braggy there. It isn't, <laughs> the guy who makes this is not very humble. Oh boy. Oh crap. Okay. I was worried that was going to explode all over the place, but it didn't. Ugh. Ugh. To tonic waters are just the worst. Ugh. Yeah, it's weird. I don't like it. Yeah. Like, that's not water. There's a super bad taste. Like, dirty sock taste on the back of my throat. Like, that's so gross. I know it's supposed to be mixed with alcohol and stuff, but... I don't do that on this channel. So, sorry people. I'm gonna go ahead and eliminate this one right away, too. I'll take another sip. That's gross. It's even worse than the other one I eliminated. Ugh. It's not good. Here's... Okay, it's Zyco coconut water. Pretty big bottle. Ugh, that, like, tonic water is still in the back of my throat. That's so gross. 100% natural coconut. Not from concentrate. This is 45 calories per serving. And then there's four calorie... Uh, four servings in this bottle. This is coconut water. It says mostly from Thailand, but also from other parts of Asia. It says, Ugh. it's got a strong, strong smell to it. This is another one I bought today. I think it was like three or four dollars. It's got um, like a fibery taste to it. This one was more like a sweeter coconut taste. This is like a more of a more like the harmless harvest water like I was talking about earlier. Like the fibery, like more of like the threads of the coconut kind of taste to it. And again, coconut water in general is better served chilled in my experience. Okay, the hoist water. This is rapid hydration. And I'm sorry, I just said this is hoist water. It's not. All it says is just hoist. Hoist Rapid Hydration. Yeah, this probably shouldn't even be in this comparison. This is 35 calories. There's two servings in here, so it's like 70 calories in this. Whatever it is. 150 milligrams of sodium. The, the ingredients include water, crystalline, fructose. Basically, it's like it's like sugar, corn, syrup, water. Let's just let's give, let's give it a shot. It smells like beer. Yeah, it tastes like a like a fruity alcoholic drink, kind of like like um I don't know, like syrup water. I mean, it has a really strong flavor to it. Like for how many calories it has, it tastes like it has even more than that. It's like a really really strong flavor. Think of like Hawaiian Punch, but with two or three times the flavor somehow. Like it's it's. Not good. I think the theory behind this water is that they say you don't hydrate as quickly without also consuming calories and stuff like that. So it says it helps you um, hydrate quicker. I think this might be made for like athletes or something like that, like bodybuilders or something. I don't think this is made to just be drink while you're 
working on a computer or doing nothing. But I'm going to eliminate this also. Flavor's too strong. It's got calories. It doesn't even call itself a water. So this is out. Next up is another one that doesn't even call itself water. This is like aloe water. It's called an Enrich Aloe Pomegranate Cranberry Flavored Water. This is... Why, why did I even buy this? It says aloe vera juice drink. It doesn't even say aloe vera water. I'm pretty sure I bought this from giant eagle a long time ago and i just bought this because it was in in the water aisle like next to other waters and i, I think i was just in a hurry and didn't put much thought into it. it says goodness from inside out imagine your body being filled with a new sensation a pure one aloe tone are talking to you in a new place with an enhanced mix of pomegranate cranberry and aloe vera together they're crafted to promote positive thinking with a fresh boost of musical optimism wow drink that has musical optimism this is gluten-free non-gmo <sighs> look how dark it is like is that a water how can that be a water it must be like a <sighs> no it's clear i was about to say it must be tinted plastic but it's it's a clear bottle it's just super dark for some reason oh look there's like chunks in there chunks of aloe vera Aloe vera is like, that's so gross. Aloe vera, is that even supposed to be consumed? It, like, I know if you burn your skin, you're supposed to put aloe vera on it. Is that supposed to be consumed? Maybe if you like burn your throat, it'd be good for it. Isn't aloe vera from like cactuses? Yeah, yeah it's like a gelatin texture, like chunks of like gelatin. This is not good. I'm gonna eliminate this one right away too. Like, this is definitely not as good as those the other three. Okay. The last one is kind of all the, all together. This is herbal water. And it's just four flavors of it. So I have cloves, cinnamon, ginger, lemon peel, lavender mint, and grass, uh, lemongrass, mint, vanilla. Um, this one seems the most promising. Look, look how clear this one is. Like, it looks like a water. And this one is... I think the only one left with zero calories, so that's already a thumbs up. Here's a weird thing I just noticed. The lids say USDA Organic on three out of the four. USDA Organic, USDA Organic. This one does not. The Ginger Lemon Peel is the only one that is not labeled as USDA Organic. I wonder what's different about this. The ingredients in this one are purified water, organic ginger, and lemon peel flavor, and natural flavors. So, that's weird. This, this one is not organic, apparently. All right, let's just open it up and uh, do a taste test. Here's the cinnamon one. Uh, ooh, that's weird. This does not have much flavor at all on the tongue, but then this has, like, flavors after you swallow it. And it also has a strong smell. It smells like incense, like... Uh, you know, in a, church, in a church, they like those incense. That's kind of what it smells like, like cinnamon. Um, I heard cinnamon has, like, a lot of health benefits, actually. Um, I heard if you can just chew on cinnamon and it's supposed to help with bad breath. I wonder if drinking cinnamon would help with bad breath. Hmm. Okay, cinnamon. Here is lemongrass, mint... Vanilla. Yeah, it has a grassy smell to it. I like that. Ginger lemon peel. This is the non-organic one. That has a nice, like a really nice, subtle flavor. Like a nice, mild taste in the back of my throat. And like, like almost no flavor on the tongue. That is nice, that's nice and refreshing. On a hot summer day, like, drinking this in a glass with, uh, 
you know, some uh, some ice cubes in it. Be uh, very refreshing. Okay, let's try the uh, lavender mint one. Smells like an air freshener, kind of. Okay. This has like a stronger flavor to it. I'm going to eliminate these two. Just because out of out of these four, the cinnamon and the um, lavender mint are my least favorite out of those four. And I'm just going to retry these. This one's pretty good. Like, I would say these remaining five would all, all get thumbs up for me. This is a pretty good one, too. Actually, I'm going to give this one like a thumbs down. I don't really like this one. The flavor's too strong. These remaining four, though, seriously, I'd give a thumbs up, too. This one definitely leaves a sugary feeling on, on your teeth. I feel like I need to brush my teeth just after drinking this one. Nice back of the throat feel to that. And this one's even in here, even though it's best buy date is over a year ago. It's still good enough to be in the final four. I think I know what the winner is. This one. The ginger lemon peel herbal water. Herbal water is the, the best in my opinion. Subtle flavor, but just nice and refreshing. No calories, all natural flavors. It's clear. It's uh, pretty good. It's USDA organic. That's what it says there. All right, congratulations, herbal water, ginger, lemon peel flavor. You're the best. You're moving on to round two. You already beat out a bunch of other waters. So good job. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Stay hydrated and uh, have a nice day.